Mm. What? What's going on? I think I just fell asleep reading a new press release Intel has revealed yesterday. See, when I signed up to being a YouTuber almost seven years ago now, I knew that my life would one day just become reading through giant, boring press releases and it has finally happened. Because not only I was never really confident in the whole 10th gen of Intel CPUs, but then reading through it and trying to decipher whatever they're trying to communicate to us in this table makes me even less confident in them, and many people are having the same reaction. So let's go over what exactly we're getting with this brand new release. Firstly, a new socket, again, and of course, a new chipset. We're getting a new Z490 chipset along with the LGA 1200 socket, so get ready to upgrade your motherboards once again, Intel fanboys, because, well, it's gonna cost you. We don't really know how much, mind you, because we know barely anything about its launch, even though it's supposed to be coming this month, as in May, as in that's literally what they said in the press release, so. Well, we go up from the 8 core 16 threads seen last gen with the 19 hour K and KS, and instead go up to 10 cores and 20 threads. So simply slapping two extra cores should make it both great for gaming, like Intel CPUs already are, and also maybe great for any other workloads when you have proper work done. But hopefully at least the two extra cores will make them slightly better for actual work. Will it beat Ryzen's though? In, in workload performances, I highly doubt so, but I still believe they're gonna maintain some kind of advantage in gaming. Because as we come to expect from Intel, the IPC improvements will probably still be there and will probably still be great. What won't be there is any shrink in the transistors, because they're still sticking to 40 nanometer. <laughs> you'll get there one day, Intel. You, you'll get there one day. So I also expect them to be slightly more power hungry and also be way more of a furnace than Ryzen's as well. Like how long have they been stuck on 14 nanometer now? It's insane. But now let's get onto that chart I teased a few times before because man it's a mess. Intel likes promoting the fact that this CPU can boost all the way to 5.3 gigahertz, but it, as you can see by this chart, it's only under very, very specific conditions. Most of the time, it looks like it's gonna run at around the same speed as the current 1900K and KS CPUs. Because as a quick refresher, the 1900KS was able to go all the way to 5 gigahertz on an all core boost. But we'll see exactly how the addition of two more cores will change Intel's attitude towards all core boost with this CPU. But another area they decided to really, you know, up the game in to try and combat AMD was in the tier 3 section of CPUs. Because the Intel i3s are finally getting hyperthreading, which means two threads per core. Which is something that even the current 3200Gs and 3400Gs have, and the upcoming 3300Xs and 3100 CPUs from AMD will all have. Because even though Intel had some okay ish, CPUs in that kind of lower tier area right now with the 9100F, our AMD has just come along and decided to just say nope and we're gonna take over that entire tier. So now of course Intel has to do something to react to that. So hyperthreading is really the obvious choice. So let me know what do you think of the whole announcement of the new 10th gen Intel CPUs yesterday. I think it's gonna be interesting. I'm kind of disappointed like most people but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. And remember, they are releasing really soon apparently, so that's gonna be really interesting. So if you wanna talk to me or others about this, you know, just, just let me know down in the comments below what you think, or also join my Discord, which is down in the video description below, where we can talk about this or whatever else you want. Also, if you wanna help support the channel monetarily, there's my Patreon down in the video description below as well. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I'm next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.